I've said it before, I'll say it again. There is no one like my first guest. You've loved him in Jurassic Park, Independence Day, and Thor Ragnarok. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Mr. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Nice to see you. So Thank nice you to much. see you. Nice to see you. Always, I don't know if you heard John and I talking before yeah. you came out here earlier. You were saying that if you want that Jeff Goldblum feeling, there's only really one source, and that's Jeff Goldblum. Right? Ed? You're a limited resource. Oh, you're so sweet. You're a sweet. limited resource, Jeff Goldblum. You're, 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 you're your precious cargo. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I live my whole days with you. I watch you on YouTube all the days. What's wrong with your finger? Well, let me see that. Uh, What'd you get? Uh, what I, happened there? I, I, when I was on vacation, I really raked the back of this finger right here, fishing on the sort of the, the rough edge of a boat on the gunnel. You know where you're supposed to we're walk. You know what a gunnel is? I don't know what a gunnel is. Gunnel is the top. You, you do not, you do not boat, Jeff Goldblum. No. Anyway, I, 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 I scratched it, and I think I got it infected. It's taken a little while to heal, so I've got a Band-Aid on my finger. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can't infect it. What'd you do? Didn't you put Neosporin and uh, clean it out right away? No, I was about 60 miles out to sea, so it wasn't for a while. I got oh. fish guts it and everything like that. Very manly, very manly. You are very manly. You know How many, why do you have Ricola on my desk? I just got it backstage, and then I put it out because I didn't want to upset my pockets, so I put it out here. You want I, feel like, I feel like we're about to play poker Brought to play poker in prison or something. Okay, what do I got over here? You got you got Ricola. I got a bunch of Advil. I'm Advil. In. I'm in. I'm Look in. at okay, that. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. What you got? What you got? Dealer takes. Dealer takes two. Dealer takes two. How All much right. Advil do you take? Not this many. This many. Really? This many. I just I'll hey, put it back. Yes? Who was hooked on? Who was hooked on lots of aspirin every day? He kept taking aspirin. In what character? In what movie? Aspirin. Aspirin junkie. An aspirin junkie. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to get this. Is it a comedy? No. Okay. Is it no. what? An aspirin junkie in a Get movie? the hell out of there. What is, it what, is it William S. Burroughs in Naked Lunch? No. No, it's not. Uh, you don't no. know the answer. I do. I do. I'm just thinking. I'm, I'm trying to give you a clue. There were two characters. It's about two nefarious characters. Black Leopold and, and Loeb. Nope. Black and white movie. One is played by Scott Wilson. That does not help in any way. <laughs> That the not the original book was written by Truman Capote. Oh, okay, in cold blood. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Yeah. There it is. Uh, yeah, he was. Uh, what do downing, I win? Uh, he was what? What do I win? Mm, Ricola. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Don't you like a nice Ricola? I think these yeah, are delicious. Uh, uh, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, yeah. you know, I like Halls too. I like Halls. Halls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. Anyway. I'm, into the, I'm into the Ricola uh, lemon mint sugar free. I don't know it. Oh, the sugar-free lemon mint? I pop one in between my cheek and gum, and I get full lemon mint flavor without having to light up. Between the cheek and gum? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the old, that's the old thing. The old for, chaw. Yeah, the, the old, old chaw. chaw. I, have you ever chewed tobacco? I went to college in Virginia for a couple of years, and legally you had to chew tobacco in class. <laughs> the Mountain. You know who's in the, uh, in the audience is Rick Alverson, who directed that movie. Where is Rick Alverson and his, and his other half, Emily? Where are they? Oh, hey. there they are. Look. Look, there they are. Thanks for being here. They were here backstage. Wait, 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 100%. He directed the movie. 100%. What's the mountain about? Jeff? Oh. <laughs> it's about I play a, a guy, taken from the real guy, who. Uh, oh, it was based I, on a true story? Uh, based, extrapolated from, and then sprung poetically off of. <laughs> I think one may say. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Hold on. That's our show. Drive safely. Hold on a second. I just want to know, have we recorded any of this so far? All right, so what happens? What happens? So here's what happens. My character, um, 
it, like something like the real character, it, uh, in, um, introduced lobotomy to America in the 40s and 50s. Oh, so actually he was the guy who was going on lobotomizing people. Was this like through the eye, that He's thing? He's the one who came up with that. It used to be done with a, with a, uh, a surgeon partner and through the skull. He said, forget the surgeon. I'm going to get these ice picks from my refrigerator. I'm going to, I'm going to invent this transorbital lobotomy. I'm going to go in through the eyeball and windshield wipe around a little bit and, and you know. <laughs> And he got people at that point, like a lot of manly, old-style, patriarchal men, he got misbehaving housewives, and he rounded up some uh, active kids and homosexuals and fixed them up with this treatment. Uh, gruesome. We have a clip here. Can you can you tell us? I well, think you're, you're at a bowling alley for some reason. Bowling alley and the great time. Yes, because I, you know, I think I'm given to. Although we don't say much in the movie, it's all sub. Much of it is subterranean, uh, but. Um, <laughs> But my, uh, but my, uh, my innards are disturbed, and, I, and, and, and I'm doing things on the table, and I'm t tough and authoritarian in the hospitals. But at home, I get drunk, and I smoke my pipe, speaking of tobacco, and I pick up women, and, uh, and I get this, this kid with me, played by the excellent Ty Sheridan, um, to come along with me and take pictures. So we get a chronicle of the whole darn business and anyway I take him and he's a virgin at this point and uh, he's a young kid and um <laughs> And it really sounded more like gossip than it sounded like a description of the movie right now. This kid's a virgin right uh, now. Can you go? So go ahead. Well, the whole thing's exciting to yeah. me. And then, and in this scene, I get him his first drink. He's never had a drink. But I get him a drink, and I make him watch. I'm showing off how my, my skills at, uh, you know. Uh, Jim, uh, yeah. hold on one second. Jim, for the love of God, roll the clip. <laughs> Here we go. OK, OK. Down? Did I knock it down? Uh, uh, sometimes it goes down. <laughs> Let's try that. Come here. Come here. Oh. Tom Collins, the young photographer there. Look at those, look at those colors. Look at those si siphoned out colors. Listen to that Kubrick-esque shining kind of music. Yes. Throughout this movie, one of the things we do, I think, is take the uh, nostalgia glow, nostalgia glow that's even now uh, supposed to uh, be revisited and found right. back then, yes. and we de-romanticize it. Wow, wow. <laughs> That one, that one sentence, this is what I love about you, that one sentence was an emotional roller coaster for yes. me. I didn't know where it was going. I didn't know what the next word would be. Neither did I. I didn't know, I didn't if, I, I didn't know if I needed to give you like CPR. I didn't know what was going to happen Battles. there. Boom. Boom. I live more in 10 minutes. I live more in 10 minutes than most people do in an entire lifetime. That's true. I, I, I know. That's I know. not That's, true. No, it is. It uh, is. No, no I, I, I imagine. I'm just showing off. I, I imagine that you, uh, Jeff Goldblum, really take Summer uh, just by the handle. You wouldn't let Summer get away from you because we only get so many. You're right. And, and, and life, this is where life proves uh, that it is. <laughs> now you've got me talking like you. Look what you did. I used to make more sense than this. The high woman came riding up to the old inn door. Oh, uh, the, the, the wind was a torrent of darkness among the gu gusty trees, and the moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas, and the road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor as the highwayman came riding, riding, riding up to the old inn door, over the cobbles. <laughs> over the cobbles. That butts in a wine barrel room. Barrel house kings with feet unstable sagged and reeled and pounded on the table, pounded on the table with a barrel of a drum. Boomly, 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 boom. Vachel Lindsay, Vachel Lindsay. You know, you know that. We have to take a little bit of a break. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, we'll right.